According to the National Stroke Association, that mm. word just scares the heck out of me, Me right? too. You know? As many as 65,000 Americans will experience a stroke this month and many have no idea they're at risk. Joining us today with tips for spotting those symptoms and boosting recovery is Dr. Johnny Bowden, a best-selling author called The Nutrition Myth Buster. Thank you so much for joining us, Dr. My we really pleasure. appreciate it. So we have a bunch of questions for you because um, this is something that we're on. all involved in. You say that there's a vitamin that can actually prevent a stroke. Where is it? What can we do? What is it called? Okay, vitamin. Two things. One, it's not really a vitamin. It's a part of vitamin E. And two, I wouldn't say it prevents a stroke. I would say that the research shows very clearly that people who have most of this kind of vitamin or this component of vitamin E in uh -huh. their blood suffer considerably less damage after a stroke. So and should that's you just done, take vitamin E? You, well, no. Unfortunately, the tocotrienols, which is what they're called, okay. are really uh, only found in palm oil. They're found in some vegetable I oils. palm oil was supposed to be terrible for us. No. It's going to kill you. Palm oil is the bomb. Malaysian palm oil is red. the bomb. Look. The reason it's red is because it contains carotenoids, which are things like beta carotene. You get some of these Hollywood celebrities on there, you talk about Nutella, which has palm oil in it, and they go crazy. They it, say it's going to kill well, you. Nutella is terrible for you because of the sugar, but not because of the palm oil. Oh. The palm oil is a great oil to cook with, and if you notice, they even sell tocotrienols from palm as a supplement precisely because of this effect on the brain. So it's really very hard to get from food. How much of it do you Well, I use palm oil for cooking all the time. First of all, it's delicious. I make popcorn with it, and it's amazing. I should have brought you some in. All the kernels pop, <laughs> and it has a great taste. So palm oil needs to be, its reputation needs to be re rehabilitated. And one thing, the reason that I always push Malaysian mm -hmm. is because they take such care of the environment. Mm. Their forests are protected. The palm fruits last for 30 years. They, they don't harm the habitat of any orangutans. Are you sponsored by them? No, but <laughs> they're right. real, um, that's the one that I use. Just ask I use them. I use coconut. Coconut oil, sometimes they use um, I like avocado the oil. oil. Those are all great. But we stopped using Vaseline in our house for, for nose and everything. We started using uh, coconut oil. Did you? And coconut yeah. oil is wonderful for the skin, it's wonderful for cooking. But yeah, th this is one of my favorites. So for stroke, uh, for damage control, I would say this is what the research shows. Mm. More tocotrienols in your, in your system, and they're hard to get from food.